After a patient has had a brain biopsy and we've managed to secure a diagnosis, they'll often be transferred from the Royal London Hospital over to St Bartholomew's Hospital, which is part of Bart's Health NHS Trust. Bart's is an internationally renowned teaching hospital based in the City of London, really close to St Paul's Cathedral. It's home to the Bart's Heart Centre and the Bart's Cancer Centre. Often our patients will be referred here to undergo radiotherapy and chemotherapy, and the purpose of this video is to show you what happens when a radiotherapy mask is fitted, then going on to the radiotherapy planning CT scan, and then showing you an actual radiotherapy session. It's worth noting that not all patients that receive a diagnosis of some kind of brain cancer will get radiotherapy and or chemotherapy. It's very diagnosis dependent. If a patient needs to have radiotherapy towards the brain, head or neck area, they usually need to wear a mask. And this is something called a mold, head shell or cast. Sometimes it's just called a shell. The whole point of the mask is to hold your head and neck in exactly the right position so that when high energy x-rays are fired towards the brain tumour, it's as accurate and as effective as possible. To get the shell fitted, the patient will usually be lying on a couch on a neck rest. The plastic will be warmed up to a certain temperature so it's nice and soft and can fit to the patient's face. It's not too hot and in this case you can see that it's being put on the patient's face so that they can feel exactly how warm it is before it goes right over. The mask is going to be a tight fit but it shouldn't be uncomfortable and you can definitely breathe through it through lots of small holes. But despite this, some patients can find it quite claustrophobic. The mesh is gently molded around the face and the sides and the top of the head. As it cools down and as these cold packs are applied to the mesh, you can see it turning a slightly lighter color and this is becoming more opaque and it's setting in this position and becomes a lot harder. If it's tight on your chin, you just lower your chin with me. That looks good. Once the mask is ready, we can go through towards having a radiotherapy planning scan, which is a specific kind of CT scan. If the patient is well enough, this can happen pretty much straight after the mask has been made. There you are. Water lasts in plastic forever. <laughs> well done. 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 Hi there, um, my name's Liam. My name's Bradley. Um, we're some of the therapy radiographers here at St Bart's um, and we'll be doing a CT scan today on the patient. Um, so what we'll be doing is fitting the mask that he's just had made, administering some contrast and then just delivering a CT scan. Yep. So I'll be in charge of administering the contrast while Liam will be in charge of actually undertaking the scan itself. The scanning team will get you into position on a couch, with again with a neck rest and get you into exactly the same position in which you had the mask fitted. So at this period of time, just relax, okay? A drip might be put into the patient's arm so that some contrast dye can be injected and this may light up the tumour cells on the scan. The mask is again placed directly over the face and fixed onto the couch of the scanner so that the head and neck can't move. A few small adjustments may be made and then a few ink marks might be made on the mask as well so that the same position can be achieved every single time. At this point, the scan will occur and it really doesn't last more than a couple of minutes. After this, the patient may be transferred back to the hospital that they were transferred from or they may go home with family members. <laughs> Treatment usually starts a week or two afterwards and during this time, the radiotherapy planning scan will be looked at by a radiation oncologist as well as a medical physicist. This is done to ensure that the treatment is designed in such a way that it destroys the cancer cells predominantly while sparing all of the surrounding normal brain tissue. 
Now we're back to see the actual radiotherapy treatment session, which can last anything from between 10 to 30 minutes. At Bart's Hospital, a LINAC or medical linear accelerator is used, and this customizes high energy X rays or electrons to attack the tumor's specific shape and destroy the cancer cells while sparing the surrounding normal brain. The LINAC or linear accelerator itself sits in a room with lead and concrete walls so that these high energy X-rays are shielded and no one outside of the room is exposed to these X-rays. There are lots of safety mechanisms built in to make sure that a massive dose is not delivered to the patient unwittingly. There are lots of quality assurance checks and all of the machines are checked on a daily basis. You can see that as the patient's looking up, there's a beautiful ceiling that's lit up with a nice scene so the patient actually has something to look at throughout the treatment. Some people may choose to keep their eyes closed and music can be played as well for the patient's comfort. I hope this video has provided some insight into what actually happens when a patient is diagnosed and goes for radiotherapy treatment. This is a bit of a black hole and there's a lot of anxiety around what actually happens. I'd like to thank Mr. Tower, the patient, for giving his consent to allow us to follow him throughout his treatment and especially towards his family for allowing us to publish this video. Mr. Tower unfortunately passed away in Christmas of last year and this video is dedicated to him and his family. If you've got any questions or comments about radiotherapy treatment, please drop them down below in the comments section.